Oof. I did not sleep because I am so pumped for today's rally uh, to be showing support for the Free Britney movement. But, oh my God, I did not sleep. So if you meet me for the first time and I, you see that I have bags underneath my eyes or like if I'm out of it, just um, let, you know, just be aware that I didn't sleep because I was so pumped for today. <laughs> Good morning. I did not sleep because I'm so pumped for today. I am taking my pre-workout now as we speak. I am cutting a crop top as we speak. So there's a Britney tank top that's already a crop. I'm gonna make it into a bro tank since I know it's gonna be hot at the rallies. So hopefully I don't cut this and mess it up. I will show you the final product in a bit. And I have to pack and then go to the gym, go to the airport. A lot to do this morning. It's currently 5 a.m. Central. Of course, I cut it a little sloppy. One side was like going great and then in order. And then I made the other side and I'm like, oh crap. I made that little ratchet. So I had to make a ratchet on this side. So, I mean, out of one out of 10, I would rate it a seven. Um, I hope it's not too distractive, but I know it's gonna be hot outside. It's a cute little crop. So it's a crop and I'll be wearing shorts and then I'm probably gonna wear pride socks. So it's gonna look like if I'm at going to a gay pride um, parade mixed with the Free Britney rally. <laughs> So I am ready to head to the airport. I'm gonna do two things for good luck. I'm gonna spray some perfume on me. Let's use in control because we want Britney Spears to be in control of her life. And whatever, I wanna smell good. <laughs> smell girly, I wanna smell like Britney Spears. In control. Quick little prayer for my house to be safe. What's up Britney? While I'm gone, please let no one break into my home please. <laughs> All right, so I lied. I did not go to the gym this morning. I ended up stretching, getting distracted with Britney videos on YouTube. Um, so now I am driving to my friend's house. Hello, good morning. I'm driving to my friend's house um, who lives a little closer to the airport to an extent and he's gonna drop me off at the airport um, rather than paying for parking and Ubering because Ubering can get pretty expensive. Um, so yes, I'm driving, I'm, I'm speeding, of course I'm late. But thank God I have TSA pre-check. So even though the airport's gonna be empty, one. And then two, like I have pre-check, so it'll be a speedy um, check-in process. And I'm not even checking in a bag, I'm just bringing a backpack since I'm only there for a couple of days. Uh, and the reason, I know I'm talking a lot, but if the reason why I wear a sweatshirt, people always kind of find it weird. And I did this even pre-COVID. Whenever I fly, when I get cold. Um, and then on top of that, like with COVID, like at least like I'm not sitting on the seat as much. Like it's more my clothing on the seat and not my skin, if that makes sense. So like... Even pre-COVID, I always try to avoid like wearing like a tank top and booty shorts on an airplane, if that makes sense. So I'm wearing jeans and a sweater and underneath I have, sh well, I don't have shorts. I have shorts in my bag, but underneath I have my Britney tank that I'm gonna be wearing um, at the rally. So yes, I'm just so excited. I'm so hyped. Um, I am a little exhausted, so I'm hoping when I get on the plane, maybe I could just chill and close my eyes. But knowing me, I'm gonna be hyped. I'm not even gonna sleep. I'm just gonna, I don't know, be anxious the whole time. So it's whatever. Tonight's a new night to sleep, right? So I'm with my friend Eduardo. No, we are not in Mexico. He just has it in Spain. <laughs> so, yes, I'm excited. Thank you for doing this. I don't really wear sense at all. I just wore it for good luck today. For Brittany. I know. <laughs> As expected, a breeze. It was like, I just went through TSA, not a big deal. The, an airport tip for everyone is 
bring a bottle of water, bring it empty, and then refill at the water fountain. Save you four dollars rather than buying a water at the airport. They tell me that the flight is gonna be full and that I have someone sitting next to me and that there's nowhere else that I could sit. So um, hopefully the person next to me is nice and is wearing a mask and afraid of COVID. <laughs> So we have water for protesters and we have also for the media. We got some signs, some snacks, frozen little snacks. We got gummies. We got some roses. We got a free Britney sign, an informational sign. Did you put a rose on? No, I didn't. I need to put one on. Love me, hate me. Thank you for representing. <laughs> Love your mask. <laughs> you guys are tipping this up. <laughs> Thank you. Brittany. Representing, I saw you here yesterday. <laughs> you did? Uh, 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 free Woo! Britney! We are going to the courthouse in downtown LA. <laughs> this is the first time that I've opened my mouth. The world is watching. Who's telling the attorneys the what to do? Who's at the top? The top top. I mean, the devil. Does oh. the, the devil have a name? Oh. Brittany has no idea. Just to relate to her like a friend. Just relate to her not like Britney Spears the star, but Britney Spears the girl I grew up with. Although I didn't grow up with Spears. Do you know what I mean? What made you worry? I could tell I could tell she wasn't in a good place. I could tell that she was very sad. I could tell that um uh, well, what was telly, I'll say, is, so they call for her to come on set, and she gets on set, and she's standing like this, and the light hit her, and the music started, and I saw Britney the star, 
But when the take was over, when the rehearsal was over, it was as if someone had unplugged her and she went wah, 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 wah. And so, yeah. Last question? Okay. Do you think, do you think, okay, all right, I'm sorry. You heard that first, because I'm just following along with Billy B, trying to listen to his interviews, yes, and he's speaking very candidly um, about his experience, and it's very heartbreaking. Thank you so much for doing that. You're welcome. It means a lot to all fans. You're welcome. All around the world. Brittany is strongly opposed. Brittany is strongly opposed to Jamie continuing as sole conservator of her state. Rather, without in any way waiving her rights to the termination of this conservatorship in the future. Billy, do you have anything to say to fans real quick? This is directly live at the moment. Anything to say to fans? Don't be mean. Be nice to him. And not not to be mean to me. Don't be mean to anybody. Because it's not nice. And... There is absolutely a reason that there aren't a lot of insiders here, and it's because that you came for them. So it's a it's a double-edged sword. I, I love you for loving her, but you have to support people that work with her. I mean, of course we love her. Of course we're trying to make her look amazing. It's not always easy, people. And doing the right thing isn't always easy, but I know you're trying. So. And you're using your voice. You're here for a reason. Oh, so fine. thank you so much. You're welcome. Go follow Free Britney LA. I'm going to try to see if I could get something from Jason. Hey. <laughs> hey. <laughs> my bad. Oh, my bad. I, I just thought talked- you were busy. So <laughs> Hi, baby. Hi. 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 Well, if you feel comfortable. That was a good little air hug. That was good. Nice shirt. Thanks. Jason Alexander. I know. Yeah. I was just looking at him. Okay, so what, what made you, what called you to come today? Uh, well, a lot of things happen and timing and uh, multiple events come together, but uh, one was Brittany reaching out and, uh, you know, talking, you know, to me about what was going on in her life and since we had last talked, it's been 10 years, you know, so. Uh, and then the fact that the dates were already set with these uh, conservatorship hearings and that just a good time to get involved to kind of put light on it so we can get some results yeah uh, that's mainly why I'm here is to try to help get some results maybe so you still maybe. care for Brittany you still care oh, for her I, freedom I or support her 100% was she nice to you during their times did you were you ever uh, in contact with her past conservatorship yeah absolutely was that behind the scenes was that Always allowed behind the scenes. was she ever in trouble because of it uh, just always had to be sneaky. She yeah. Had, I've never, um, I don't know everything. Yeah. You know, and I'm sure she may not want to talk about some things because it may be hurtful. So I don't know a hundred percent. I just know that it's, uh, affected her life negatively. Mm-hmm. And, uh, it's really unfortunate that they've taken her, uh, choice. In the so school. you're saying that you're here because she told you she wants out of this. Absolutely. And is it true, there's a rumor multiple years ago that you um, potentially were in contact with her and that she was hiding a phone in a sauna and something along those lines in order to, you know, pers- give you messages? I don't know about the sauna story, but yeah, I released some audio of a phone call conversation between us in 2010 to rate our online, which have been removed from the internet for whatever huh. reason. Uh, they they denied that it was Brittany, but I uh, took a lie detector test and passed it, and they didn't sue me. And uh, I was paid for it, actually, a pretty good amount of money, so you would think they would have sued me if I was lying. Mm-hmm. Uh, and, and the reason I did that is because we had been in contact for over a year during this conservatorship back then, and it was... It was uh, restricting us from seeing each other, but we had to sneak these conversations. And so I, I just drew the line. I said, look, I have to uh, you know, continue with my life. I can't wait around for this conservatorship to be over with. So, and and did she ever calling. share a situations or stories of potential abuse? So do you think we should be worried for her safety? Um, as of right now, I'm, I don't think so. I don't think she's, her, her safety is... An issue at the moment. It's an issue at the moment. But 
But in the past, I don't, I don't put in the past. I'm not sure, but they've obviously had her under fear or mm-hmm. something. I don't know Potential, you know, threatened of the children or something along those exactly. lines. Was there ever the word Lou Taylor ever thrown around? Um, I, I've known about Lou, and I've just recently heard more about Lou. But uh, yeah, Brittany's spoken about her recently, but never in the past. Negative, positively. Uh, she's aware of some things. Do you think Brittany knows that people are here today rallying for oh, yeah. her? A hundred percent. Hundred percent. I don't have any follow-up questions. These are the fans right now, so say hello to the fans. I I actually told her last night and this morning through text, but uh, I haven't received anything back yet. But I told her I'd be here. She knows I'm here. Okay. Do you have anything, a message for the Um, fans? She just uh, she supports this, and uh, I tried to give her an opportunity to to record an audio or video to give to me the release, maybe Mm -hmm. around the gatekeepers. She chose not to take that option. I respect her decision, and uh, but... She does has told me she supports this movement, and uh, you know some of the conspiracies may be a little wild. Yeah. But for the most part, it's it's twelve years under conservatorship for somebody who's completely sane, mentally there, and, and a lot of people are making a lot of money. A hundred percent. That shouldn't be, and that's her money for her her grandkids and grandkids and grandkids. You know that's that's how. She should be able to spend her money instead of it being stolen from her to where now her kids are stuck, you know, having to work normal jobs or that. <laughs> exactly. You know? Do you have any final words for fans online? Oh, man, hey, thank you guys, you know. Uh, I think all your supports made this come to the surface and shed light on the situation, and I think that's going to help Brittany in the long run. So I do have a follow-up question for you. Yeah. There is, uh, there's Lance Bass just went live on a podcast and he was saying that we just need to trust the court system that obviously, obviously something is wrong with Trust Brittany. the court system like we did in the Russia collusion case against the president with the fake dossier. I don't know, man. I don't trust courts. You know, I don't, I'm not trusting. But what do you, was Lance Bass, yeah. is, is he, you know, he's part of the machine, right? Like, is he well, do, do you think maybe they have a close relation or do you think that was just a... I just think he, uh, his manager told him to say something. Do you think that's it? a lot of people in general that 100%. they hundred percent? Some people can st- talk about free Britney and some people can, or what is it? Definitely. Okay. Hundred percent. Yeah, I believe it. Yeah. All right. Well, thank you. Thank you so much for your time. Yeah, no problem. Pleasure. I am um, actually for the mental causes. For example, Kanye West have been also diagnosed with being bipolar, and because you are bipolar that um, may impair you in your interpersonal relationship skills, but that doesn't impair you to know how to use your money. Um, what rights do you have to use the money that you earn, that you work for, and to make right decisions, I mean, um, about your economics with your own talent yeah. that is being given by that high maniac energy that you have. 16 because years old. with great power comes great responsibility. So there is the positive part of that. Bipolar people is very talented people, so she earned that money. And then there is no law that should tell you that you cannot use the money that you're telling you exactly. if exactly. you're not doing anything illegal. And guess what? She was never diagnosed officially with bipolar disorder. That's she all not- That's all public assumption. There's no official documents there, of any mental illness at all. There is not a diagnosis by a psychiatrist by the DSM number five, let's say bipolar number one or number two. And you know how many years it takes also to know if somebody is bipolar, number one or number two, and to have multiple diagnoses actually, and for a period of years to know what it really it is. So I feel that um, this is a mental health cause too, and then also legal parts in where like people should not tell you what you should do with your money if you earn it in the right way and with her talent. Yeah, I have to record. Smaller I'm gonna, gonna get some out too. Smaller, medium. No, I'm gonna get some out. Okay, so well, there's two sizes, so just. Oh, oh okay. Good. There's large too. But. Oh, excellent. No, they're handmade free Britney uh, things. Oh, small beautiful. to medium. Medium. I'm assuming you're small. Yeah. Try it. Thank you. Fan made them. Here you go. These are smalls. There's mediums and larges too. Karen, small. Yeah, I would try to get mediums here because I'm feeling these smalls are like a little small. Yeah, let me try to get a medium for you. Yeah, Joe, I would try you. Oh, you, you could try. Let's go for that. Thank you, guys. You're welcome. 
see if I can do this without stabbing either one or less. There we go. There Perfect. we go. <laughs> So I am showered. I'm at the hotel room. Um, I also got some work done. I am super dehydrated. I need some food. I need some water. I just, ugh, I feel like exhausted. You know, like when you come, well, I'm from Florida, but like after a long day at the beach, yeah, that's what I feel like. I'm sore. I just need some food. So I was thinking about waiting uh, to do one more email and then I might meet up with Kevin um, from Free Britney LA and some other Free Britney activists for, they want to do a happy hour, but to me, I just want food. <laughs> if I was finished with my work day, I would have um, still been at the rally, but thankfully things wrapped up. We got some news that the, the conservatorship will be extended um, under the Joni Montgomery th um, as her personal conservator. Um, so I am just, uh, I think I'm gonna get ready to go get dinner. Um, so I might meet up with Kevin and um, so yes. <laughs> So here I am with no, Kevin right now and Free Britney and LA, a, a big part tonight. of the Free Britney movement. And we are unwrapping the day pretty much. How do you feel about the day? Uh, I feel great. I feel, you know, I love seeing, you know, how many people showed up outside the courthouse and we definitely felt the love all over the world. Um, you know, and I'm really glad that there have been steps taken um, toward Britney's freedom. Fingers crossed. Um, it's, you know, very baby steps, but it is in the right direction. It sounds like um, Sam Ingham was really advocating for Britney and Ford, so that's promising. So that's all great news. I mean, we weren't expecting we weren't expecting her to be. We were hoping, but not expecting her to be free today. So. That too, and it, you know, it was, it was weird kind of seeing Jason Alexander there and Billy Yeah, Dean. it was yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it was just a weird thing, but we were happy that Drew came out and Billy B. And, uh, you know, I don't know I have my feelings regarding to Jason Alexander. However, he was, and he did show up today. So we have to hope that he was on the right side of history. I want to say thank you to um, come over here real quick. I want to say thank you to every single person who's been a part of this movement and watching us and watching Absolutely. our stories, watching our lives. Regardless of where you live in the world, you could use your platform. Don't be afraid to use your voice and let's stay connected. This is the start. This is not even the start. We, this is, we're just continuing this on. So peace, love, and happiness, and let's free Britney. Cheers. Free Britney. Free Britney. Yes.